our regional conservation educator got a call from a gentleman who trapped a ringtail cat out of a warehouse on the south side of Twin Falls. I don't think they knew initially what they had in there, but uh, when we actually we asked him to bring it over and we had a confirmed ringtail cat, and that's the first time it's ever happened in southern Idaho that we've actually had one in hand, alive. So it was uh, pretty exciting. <laughs> we had to take it to a vet so that they could put it under so we could get the collar on. Green Acres Veterinary Clinic helped us with that and helped us get the collar on and helped us get all the measurements and data on the animal. 2.2 pounds. Initially we were kind of concerned because this time of year they tend to be, they have dens and they have young and they tend to move them fairly regularly. Can you tell if it's lactating? You're a girl but I don't really feel much so we were worried that maybe she was trying to move her young somewhere, but we, uh, when we had her at the veterinary office, we confirmed that the, she was not a lactating female, which means she doesn't have young currently. That meant we would have had to go out and try and find those young, which would have been extremely difficult, not really even knowing where she hid them. And the next morning, we released it in the South Hills. Um, and it was a female, so uh, if, if the collar's still going this time next year and she ends up breeding, we might actually be able to figure out locations where they, they tend to den in southern Idaho. Every little bit of information we get is going to be knowledge we didn't have before. It worked out great because the, the animal took right off, seemed like it was right at home, and actually over the next five days we tracked it and moved almost eight miles uh, in three days and gained about 1,500 feet in elevation. So it's, for a, for a two pound animal, it's, it's cruising pretty well. The easiest thing to identify on them is going to be the ringed tail, which is why it's called a ringed tail. It kind of looks like a raccoon tail. That's probably the most characteristic thing. The one that we captured, it was a female and it was about 2.2 pounds. So they're very small. They're a lot smaller than your standard house cat. They have really large eyes so they can see prey at night and then really large ears so they can also pick up predators uh, when they're out there at night. There's been a concerted effort for the last probably three to four years to try and get more information on ringtails. So any information people have on them, if they've seen them before in specific areas, they can get a hold of the, of the department here at the regional office. And we'd love to chat with them about where they might have seen them just so we can get a little more information. Uh, we really don't know anything about them in Idaho. So it's kind of a whole new world 